it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Parenthood. I'm finally back from summer in the city. I currently sound like a small boy going through puberty. My voice sounds like Jacob freaking Sartorius because I've been talking all weekend and fangirling and screaming and supporting like Dodie whilst she was on stage. Basically it was one big fangirl concert weekend and it's definitely taken a toll on my voice. So if I sound a little bit rusty, if I have far too many voice cracks that makes you very, very uncomfortable whilst watching a 23-year-old woman play The Sims with her voice cracking like a 12-year-old boy, then I do apologize. But we're gonna get through it together. Also, I feel like it, it may be the perfect tone for Dream Daddy. Like, I can really, I really feel like I can get the gruffness of the dad's voices out with the uh, with my voice how it is right now. I feel like my vocal cords are fried. I'm hoping it's not gonna develop into like a convention flu because I am prone to convention flus. They are the worst. Why did you just throw that on the floor? Abby, I know that we're not focusing on you in this part, but there's no need to throw your food on the floor like a freaking child, okay? You're a teenager. Oh my God, why are you so angry? Oi, what are you doing? Don't go and watch him, Ice. Ice is just like, oh, my kid's throwing flour and chocolate all over the floor. Is this chocolate? I have no idea. You're just not gonna discipline him. I mean, I know he's a little boy and you're like, you were so ready to have a baby boy, but we are gonna discipline him. We're gonna do it calmly though. We're gonna hug it out over making a mess. I feel like that may not get through to a toddler because I don't know. I feel like whenever you hug a toddler, you're kind of taking away the fact that you are actually disciplining him. I don't think he'd understand. He's like, oh, well, if I do something bad, daddy will give me a hug, which Saying daddy in that sentence sounded very, very odd, especially when I've been playing Dream Daddy so much. And I've been hanging around with Steph all weekend and I, I said daddy way more times than I was comfortable with. I don't know why, it just happens when we get together. Um, Iris has come up and like cleaned it all up for us though. What an absolute babe. That is very, very sweet of you. My voice is so fried. Oh my goodness. Why are you not disciplining him? Seriously. Have, have you missed, he, t oh my God, this toddler. He's got the freaking skills. He's now hacked life. He took so long to get down the stairs that the game was like, oh, you can no longer punish him anymore. Toddler has literally hacked the parenting skill. That is so funny. I love how we can't even do it. Okay, his hunger is like, way way down um but he needs to go to the bathroom as well so we're gonna go potty and then i'm gonna grab some pancakes out oh no everything's breaking i wanted to hang out with the young ones today because we've been playing with abby a lot like i have said um so i actually want to like just have Abby chill at home and have Ice and Devon take the little walkers out and about. Why Why do I sound like I'm calling them zombies from Walking Dead? The little walkers are all going out. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? I feel like I've lost my mind after this weekend. I really have. I was such a fangirl this weekend. I highly apologized. I mean, no one's gonna be watching this video, um, but I highly apologize to anyone any, like cre fellow creators who I met over the weekend I was one big fangirl like Rose and Rosie they were they looked like they were having a fairly serious conversation at one point but it was like the Sunday evening and I was like if I don't do it now I'm never gonna be able to speak to them so I literally just went up to them and like when there was a lull in the conversation like I didn't just go interrupting their convo um I think they were with their manager or some someone like that and there was like a lull in the conversation I was like this is my chance I have to do it like if I don't do it now I'm never gonna speak to Rosa Rosie because I always chicken out whenever I see them at any event and I just went up to them I was like hi guys um I'm a really 
really big fan and we just had like a like two minute conversation they were busy um and i didn't want to like interrupt them or anything like that so we just kind of talked a little bit about games and they told me some stuff that they have planned for their channel uh which i'm not gonna say because maybe they don't want me to but uh yeah their let's play games channel they really want to see it take off i also just fangirled hardcore over Emma Blackery this weekend. Poor Emma. I feel like she was just like, oh my goodness, who are these Sims nerds talking to me? But then also she plays The Sims, so she kind of gets it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I was... I was just a big fangirl. That's always what happens when I go to events like this. Like, yes, I have my channel, um, but I am as much of an awkward, socially awkward person who will stand in the corner of a room and like stare at someone until I feel comfortable enough to go and strike up a conversation with them. And that happened a lot this weekend. Uh, Rory, can you just eat your food? Oh, he's going on hes going on the big chair to eat it. I think Devin's gonna sit and she's just chilling, chatting with the kids. That's so cute how he just like got up on there by himself and was just like, I'm gonna eat my pancakes here on this nice Saturday morning. So yeah, I said we were gonna hang around with the little ones. We are gonna be doing that. Um, we're gonna take them out to a very cute... Stop it, just eat your breakfast. Sit on the floor and eat those pancakes, okay, mister? Don't get sassy with me. Nope, you don't want to eat them? Well, you can feel hangry all day. Seriously, toddlers are so sassy in The Sims 4. Like, just eat your damn pancakes and stop talking about how you're hangry. If you're not going to eat them, oh my god, why are you... I... It was easier when he could barely walk. <laughs> I kind of wish toddlers could still crawl. I think the um, crawling toddlers was like adorable. I wish they also did like the bum shuffle. You know what toddlers do when they kind of look like a dog who's trying to like wipe their ass on the grass? <laughs> that's, that's what shuffling toddlers look like. I really just want him to eat his pancakes so we can actually leave and like take the kiddos out to the park because Rory, you're just being annoying now. You're making me snorry. Rory, you are making me snorry, okay? Just please, eat the pancakes. Look, you even have a pizza on your shirt. You should be a massive fan of food. And you're sat there slapping it on the ground. What are you doing? That is just disrespectful to pancakes. Why are you smacking them? They're already flat as pancakes. You don't need to slap them down anymore. Thank you. Finally, he eats them. Oh my goodness. I literally just want to take the kids out and I can barely do it because our toddler is just taking a year to eat. <sighs> oh my God, my voice. I swear, today's part of Dream Daddy. I'm going to have like Robert's voice on point. I'm going to be like, hey there. <laughs> I wish I could do that all the time, but then I wish my... Uh, my throat wasn't as frazzle, frazzled as it kind of is. Right, are you done? Have you finished? Okay, sweet. Right, we're traveling. We're all going for a family day out. Abby gets the house to herself, which I am actually kind of terrified for because I have a feeling she could, like, completely wreck the place. But we're gonna go to Hair Square Park, which came with Windenburg. And you know what I'm so excited for? I'm so excited for a new, like town in the sims 4 i am very excited like when the next expansion pack comes out i hope there is a new world because like a lot of my sims do live in samai shuno so i feel like i have like a samai shuno um kind of i don't know like over overkill on my channel a little bit because i just love it as a place um right we're gonna travel also with rags there we go Oh, why did I choose Belle? I was there thinking Belle was uh, da, 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 Devon, but we're traveling with Devon. I don't know. Brain fart moment. It's been a while since I played The Sims. I haven't played it since last Wednesday. <gasps> I've almost spent a week without my little babies. What the hell? My little simmies. I'm so glad we're reunited. But we're here at the park. It's a very cool park. I actually downloaded this little lot off the gallery. It's like a tiny, tiny little um, tree house. It's, you can't really go in it or anything like that, um, but it's, it's fairly adorable. Um, 
and it's quite nice just to have in the park and then there's like monkey bars and then this thing what is going on with your hair i need to um oh okay it's just normal hair i thought it was a glitch i thought it was like freaking out like cu bad custom content or something but it's not then i added in like a sun pit i just basically made our park a little bit more of a family friendly kind of place what do you need to do practice typing for four hours why don't you go um hang out and then i want rags to hang out as well why can she not hang out well you can play then and little mr rory oh look devon goes straight over to the sand pit of course she does she's so childish but it's actually adorable right we're gonna go play with that car and ice is was gonna go talk to devon but she's way too invested in oh she stole it she stole it from the sand pit what did she steal like the little flower thing i don't know she stole something girl oh she stole the cat put it back out there oh my goodness you can't do this you can't steal the children's toys and this one just stole it as well all of these are going to be gone any second because everybody oh you're gonna put it away no don't i want it i want it in the sand pit can you stop please why are all my sims just like thieves <laughs> they all just like are stealing all the toys that are out and about currently stop trying to put it away i want the kids to play with them why do you have a oh my god my parents like these two are like bigger adults than the freaking kids bigger adults than the freaking kids that is not what i was meant to say i meant to say they are bigger children than the kids like seriously Ooh, max is here hey max um maybe we should get talking to him let's uh brag about our grades i feel like that's not gonna get him on our good side because we can tease him about fashion um talk about league of adventures i don't know make fun of adults of course kids always make fun of adults i can't believe you can just climb down there like that like what the hell how did you manage that she's like a little chimpanzee roaming around but yeah most uh most kids will make fun of adults for sure oh these are all in a club and then our two kids are oh god elsa this is our grandma like seriously reborn <laughs> as uh, another elsa it's weird man like so many of you are like oh my god when you said elsa it hit me right in the feels it's so weird to see another elsa in the game it's very odd maybe we should try and join this group i don't know i feel like that would be quite good oh why are you feeling sick you have n you're nauseous oh why is this crazy lady here like freaking punching right ice can you go and try and like give her a piece of your mind give her a rude introduction she's here like swearing in front of the kids and stuff she can't stop punching this flipping dragon she's gonna terrify everyone Jeez, louise okay he gave her a rude introduction she is tense um oh okay she's walked off i think okay good that's fine as long as she's stopped doing it then that's absolutely a-okay we're gonna go try and uh, cheer him up because he literally just got punched in the head a thousand times over he's probably got fairly fairly bad concussion so we're gonna try and cheer him up i feel like iris because she is an imaginary friend she has a lot of like empathy to other imaginary creatures and i feel like the uh, the big cuddly dragons are definitely one speaking of dragons don't worry i'm not gonna re like say any spoilers so don't be like i haven't watched game of thrones yet i'm just gonna say holy crap how good was episode four? Oh my god she's come back no right rags is gonna go off go off on her rags rude introduction she can't do this to a poor little innocent dinosaur dragon whatever he is seriously what gives you the right lady there's children trying to play here and you're swearing and punching we're gonna annoy her and we're also gonna um shove her shove her shove this random lady do it 
Come on, Rags. I know you want to. Oh my god. I can't wait to... Oh, okay. That was the annoy. That was a little bit weird. It's very weird when you do it to like a stranger. <laughs> Did you shove her? Oh, there we go. Now we shoved her. I showed you. <laughs> she shoved us back. Oh my goodness. So we're going to shove her right back. <laughs> we literally just... I can't believe she just shoved a child back. What the hell is wrong with her? Oh, here we go. Patterns has arrived. Patterns, can you give her some choice words? Because you just saw... Oh, and Rax has completed the popular kid. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how she managed to do that, but she did it. Well done, Rax. Good job, you. Oh, where are you? Why are you feeling tense? Intimidated by fame. Yowza. It's an infamous club. You've... What? I... I swear, I didn't want you to do your homework, but she's just... I don't know what it is about Iris. Like, what are her traits again? I don't know. This sim is getting the world to hear her voice. This sim yells, makes noise on instruments, and will listen to music as loud as possible. Earplugs are advised for other family members. Where are you off to? Where is Devon? What is happening to my family? So where is he going? You know what? You know what we're gonna do? I'm very surprised he hasn't done it by himself, but bam! <laughs> I love it! He's doing- oh, okay, well, he had done it. Right, do it again. Be free, little one! <laughs> it's my favourite thing when the toddlers literally just like strip naked and just wander around a random world not to sound pervy like in any way don't worry they're fully blurred they also have a nappy on like you can see that they quite clearly have a nappy on under that but it i just find it hilarious how they literally just run around the world not giving like a care in the world for the rest of the people in it but um i feel like we should maybe try and discipline him for that can we even do so um Let's firmly tell him not to take off his clothes. Freedom of speech and everything like that. Maybe he had like a nappy rash. I feel like when you're a toddler, there's probably nothing better when you've got like a nappy rash to just take your clothes off and run around because nothing's gonna be rubbing on you or anything like that. And I bet it just feels like so freeing and like cooling. Um, I might try it more often. To be fair, I am one to like sit in the towel once I've finished my shower. I can see the freeing aspect of it, so I kind of wish we hadn't told him not to do it because, in a way, it's just him like being who he is. Like, he's a wild child, most definitely, and he just wants to be free. He is a bit like his dad. His dad was very wild as well. I love how I like wanted to, this to be like one big family kind of chill out and everybody kind of like have um have a good day oh he just let rip in his pants my goodness that was like a solid solid poo as well like holy crap that let out some smog but yeah i really wanted this to be like one big thing where like devon kind of took the kids out and was like friends with them more. Oh, he's feeling angry from low hygiene. So he's gonna make a mess. That's fine. I don't care if you make a mess in a park because I don't have to clean it up. Even though I'm fairly sure Iris will probably still clean it up because I don't know what's got into her, but she's actually doing like things that I personally didn't want her to do, but she's just doing them naturally, which is very, very strange to me. I thought she'd be a complete badass, but she's, oh, no, Rags is gonna come clean it up. These kids are so sweet. Like, Devon literally has to do, oh, he's making another one. <laughs> you are such a little shit. What are you doing? Why are you trying to make everyone's life's hell? She's out here taking the rubbish out. I don't even know where she got that from. Rags is out here cleaning up the mess that he just made. Devon seriously doesn't even need to lift a finger when she's got these two angels around her because they just tidy everything up. Like, seriously, these kids are amazing. I feel like we raised them right. Well, not Rags, because we couldn't really raise her because she wasn't a toddler. Um, but I feel like they've... 
they've got some solid, solid personality traits and like behaviorisms that we did well. We should be proud of them. We raised some fine kids, apart from this one over here, who's currently just like absolutely. This is like graffiti for babies. He's making a stamp on the world. He's like, I was here, I was angry, I'm gonna throw paint everywhere in like a defiance. I wish what they could do. <laughs> this would be adorable. Maybe not as toddlers, because I feel like toddlers wouldn't have like that much brain development at that point to think about it. Um, but I would love it if kids could then like do like a snow angel in the mess that they've made. <laughs> Do you know in like Pitch Perfect where Aubrey pukes everywhere and then Lily like falls in it and kind of just starts doing like snow angels <laughs> in this puke? I really wish that was a thing. It would be gross as hell. I mean, at least it's not puke. So um, it's not as bad. I feel like we should head home though. Oh, he has to be taught with flashcards. Did he really? That is not like Rory at all. Oh my god, now... Oi, why are you yelling at us? What did we do? Let's tease him about his bravery because he, I don't know why he just started to like go crazy at us. Why, why did you start yelling at us, Max? Because we were on the playground and it's your playground. We're gonna shout forbidden words at him. He's like, oh my God, I should not have got on the bad side of you. This crazy lady is still here punching this dinosaur's lights out. I keep calling it a dinosaur, I know. I mean a dragon, but <laughs> what is wrong with you? You need to be locked up somewhere, Ta Tatum, Tatum, just Tatum. Tatum is definitely the right pronunciation of that name. You need to like find another way to get your anger out instead of all these kids at the park bloody hell anyway guys i'm gonna end this part here i think because everyone's just getting in a really really bad mood like she's taking it out on max he needs a shower devon really really needs a shower so i'm gonna finish this part here but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up leave your comments and suggestions down below for what you want to see in this let's play and i will speak to you all in my next video bye guys